Hi everyone, how are you? So I've been wearing this makeup look in a lot of my recent videos and a lot of you have been asking me to do a tutorial so I thought it would be fun to do a get ready with me since it's been a while. So I'm just going to start off with my Jouer Anti Blemish Matte Primer and place this all over my skin. I absolutely love this primer. If you guys are looking for a good primer and you have oily skin, definitely try this one. I feel like it's helped clear up my skin so much. After that I'm going to go in with my Boing Concealer by Benefit and I actually just recently did a whole foundation routine so I'll link that down below if you want to check it out I've switched it up a little bit for this video but I'll link that one down below if you guys want to check it out it's pretty similar For my foundation, I am using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. If you can't tell, I really need a new bottle. So I'm just using a stippling brush, which I'll link my brushes down below. I'm just using that to place it all over my face. I've actually been using this one a lot recently, even though I use the Revlon in my foundation routine. This foundation, I don't know, I just like to switch between them just because they are similar, but they give a different finish. And I've really been liking how this makes my skin look. After that, I just went in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and placed this under my eyes and just on like right around my nose area because I tend to get a little bit red. And then I use this amazing brush. I love using this for blending out my concealer. Again, I'll link this brush down below, but it does a really great job at just blending it out and making it look really flawless. To set my under eye concealer, I used my e.l.f. under eye HD setting powder and I just used a Sephora brush and just placed this under my eyes to make sure that the concealer doesn't move throughout the day. And then after that, I went in with my Revlon Photo Ready powder in the color Fair and Light and you guys have to try this. It gives such a beautiful finish to the skin and it really just gives you a matte look but it looks so natural on the skin so I've really been loving this. I am going to film an updated eyebrow routine so I skipped that but I just used the City Color Cosmetics Bold Brow Eyebrow Gel and then my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I use that to fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to start with my chocolate bar palette after priming my eyes and using this beautiful shade and just placing this as a nice transition shade. This is going to bring a lot of warmth to the eyes. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Smudge Pot and I love this color because it can be worn with gold or it can be worn with bronze shades and it looks gorgeous with both. And I'm just going to place this all over my eye to start with a pigmented base and this will also help to lock in your shadows all day long. So I'm going to start with this gold color which is so beautiful and I love this. I just place it right over the shadow and this helps to make it look really pigmented and really bright but at the same time it just kind of helps to lock the color into place and I think that it's so beautiful. So I just place this all over my lid and you can do this whole look with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette but I went in with Sable from the Lorac Pro palette just because I love this brown. I feel like it is, it is the perfect warm brown and it just goes beautifully with gold shades. So I'm just blending this into my crease and I'm just making sure to blend really, really well. I cut out a lot of the blending because it can get repetitive to watch me blend over and over, but just blend this really, really well so it looks really gorgeous and really seamless. I'm going to go in with Espresso from the Lorac Pro palette and on kind of like a dense shader brush and place this in my outer corner and then just blend it slightly into the crease because I want a little bit more of a dramatic look. There are days when I just skip this step and just go with the gold on the lid and the brown in the crease, but when I want something a little bit more dramatic, I feel like this helps to add a lot without you know taking too much time or it's not too much of an extra step and I just blend it out really nicely. Again, this step is optional, but I do take gold from the Lorac Pro palette and place this all over my lid because a lot of times when you're blending browns, the gold that was originally on the lid can kind of get blend it away and I feel like the gold in Lorac Pro, Pro palette on top of the gold from the Too Faced palette just look beautiful together but if you want to simplify this look you can just use one gold. I'm just smudging the color Sable on my lower lash line just to add a little bit more smokiness to the look and then I'm going to take the color black from the Lorac Pro palette and put this on my upper lash line just to line it and then I will go over it with liquid liner at a later time but this just kind of primes the liquid liner and fills in any lines that the liquid line might not reach if that makes sense. Then I'm going to take white and use this as an inner corner highlight and under the brow bones and I feel like it looks a little bit harsh like really up close but when you're far away I feel like it just gives you the most beautiful highlight. Then I'm just going in with my e.l.f. liquid liner and lining my upper lash line and then just winging it out slightly. I really like this liner because it gives you a really precise application and it's easy to make the line thin and not too thick but you can also build it up to a thicker line if you want as well. 
I just coated my eyes with one coat of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and added some false lashes, which I'll link down below. And then my camera decided to cut out some of my footage, but I got the close-ups. I used the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Bikini Contest, and I used the blush by Becca in Damsel Fly. And you guys have seen me apply blush and bronzer a million times, so you get the point. But I used this liner, this lip liner by LA Girl, and then I'm using Milani's Black Cherry, which is my absolute favorite lipstick for the fall. It is so stunningly beautiful. It gives you a rich, bold, dark, dramatic lip, and I love it. You guys have to try it. Even if you don't think dark lips are for you, I promise you, you're going to love it, even if you just wear it around your house. <laughs> so that's the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to have a new look every Sunday during the month of October. So thanks for watching. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.